legitimately, all these teams that could potentially be in on Aaron Rodgers are sitting there going, we ain't hearing shit. Mm-hmm. And, and like, I met with a team today and they're like, it's weird. Like that it's so silent. They're like, we're, there's no inclination whatsoever from the Packers or Rogers camp or anyone else, whether or not there's potentially a trade to be had, what he's going to do. Right. And so I was kind of like, well, what do you do here? And they're like, we're lining everything else up. We can't wait to figure out if Aaron Rodgers is potentially there for us. And if there's going to have to be trade negotiation and contract negotiation and all these different things. Yep. So I thought it was interesting just to know that clearly teams are taking their second options and moving them up to first options. And if for some reason Aaron Rodgers crashes the party, fine, you take that and you, you're happy with it. I thought that was interesting. And then I thought Deshaun Watson, it's crystal clear. now. Nothing is happening with Deshaun Watson whatsoever until after this April deadline that his legal camp has basically been telling teams, we're going to get some resolution to this in April. We expect the grand jury resolution is going to come in April. They clearly feel like he's not going to get indicted on a felony here. And they think that once, uh, if that occurs, Deshaun Watson is not indicted on a felony on the sexual misconduct claims. At that point, the league will be able to move forward with whatever it's going to do. And the yep. ball will really get rolling on this in April. So some of the teams that have backburnered Rodgers are now looking at Watson and saying, okay, well, if if it feels like Rodgers is off our radar, then, you know, let's, let's figure it out what's going on with Watson. And then if Watson's not on our radar, all of a sudden it's like you're looking at like, what's going on with Russell Wilson and, you know, is, is yeah. that real or not? Or Russell Wilson, by the way, the Seahawks have zero clue what the hell is going on with Russ. Like they don't know what Russell wants. Like they just right. don't know. They're like, if this guy wants to be traded, We've yet to hear it. And if he wants something specifically from us organizationally to make him happy, we've yet to hear it. You had Pete Carroll and John Schneider of the Seahawks saying opposite things. Uh, Pete says, yeah, we got calls. John Schneider saying we didn't get any calls. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's been kind of an interesting run with the quarterbacks, which is, is really what I thought we would end up focusing on, or at least myself, in yeah. terms of the veteran goings feels like a lot of that and we'll we'll revisit this stuff later in the week but i, I guarantee you eric and i are going to end up talking a little bit about mitch trubisky we're oh, going to end up talking a little yeah. bit about marcus mariota just some of these other guys that teams are like sliding over these second options going man like we might have to just kind of dip in and if we don't like the rookie class maybe we look at trubisky as, as having some tread on his tires Right. Yeah. This, if like if you're a baseball fan looking for fireworks in the NFL offseason to, to fill your void, I don't know, you know, if it's going to really happen the way everybody thinks. It. And to your point, too, well, just running through my rambling thoughts here. One on Watson, if you're a team that, that has any modicum of interest in him, you understand the risk and everything. I would be wanting to make a call to the league and say, hey, you guys have been a little bit, you know, you dragged your feet at times on some of this discipline stuff where we're waiting for a suspension. We're waiting for some kind of declaration. Let's say by April 1st, we have clarity on his legal status, right? right. Is he going to get suspended six games? Is it four? Is it 12? Right. Is it 16, 18, whatever? You know, I would want to know that too before I make a trade three, four weeks before sure. the draft. Absolutely. And to your point too, like with the Wilson thing, yeah, I mean, you know, everyone's speculated, do Carol and Wilson get along or whatever? I, you know, he chose his words pretty carefully the other day and said we, we're not we're not looking at that when teams call john says they're, they're we're not interested or whatever and then you look at obviously brian gutekunst in, in green bay and and he says not a single gm has stopped him this week and asked them about rogers 